Hello, folks. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to a Prehistory Hello, Guys. Everybody. Prehistory Flash. If you're new to the show, I mean, what is a Prehistory Flash? Um, well, believe it or not, there's loads of news about prehistory out there, and especially uh, with the new techniques and the sheer number of archaeological digs that are going on at any one time. Um, there's uh, any number of uh, extraordinary finds being made. So our job in this shorter format, pop-up format thing is to share with you things that have you know, taken our eye and things we perhaps deserve a wider audience. I'm Michael Bott, by the way. And I'm Rupert Soskin. Uh, and I have to say, that's not all we do. Obviously, that's not all we do. We do <laughs> lots of other stuff. Uh, we, in fact, I mean, for example, if you, if you don't know us, if you haven't uh, come across us before, we make uh, short and long-form documentary films we yeah. do monthly live uh, q a broadcasts mm -hmm. we do interviews with top archaeologists uh, mm. and that's, that's just a few of the bits and if you uh, um if you want to come and join our patreon crew have a look at our patreon page and because uh, our patreon crew they help to make all this possible and we yeah all i can see a lot of them here stuff. in the in the chat so. oh, uh, well hello folks <laughs> You know how much we love you. Um, uh, so, yeah, there's all sorts of special stuff that we do for our Patreon crew. So, uh, yeah, come yeah, yeah. have a look there. But have I missed out anything important? Uh, well, if we stuffed everything in, um, we'd never get round <laughs> yes. to the news, which is but what we we're supposed to be to talking news, about. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, moving swiftly along. What have we got tonight? Why have we popped up with this tonight? The title, by the way, Rupert, I, I mean, I don't know if you've seen the uh, thumbnail. It's uh, Pomelta. I have, yeah. Yes. Uh, Germany's Stonehenge, question mark. Mm. Question mark, yes. not statement. Anyway. <laughs> yes. Well, it's round, isn't it? Uh, the, the, the reason... Uh, the reason for this being in the news is it's been a staggering year at Pomelta. It's it's a phenomenal site. Um, let's leaving aside any uh, comparisons with Stonehenge. Uh, it's a phenomenal. Uh, it's an enclosure, ditched and banked enclosure, that's a hundred and uh, hundred and fifteen meters across, something like that. Um, mm -hmm. It's it's big, but around the enclosure, what they've found over the last years is that they've found that the settlement around this enclosure actually is pretty vast. And okay. during 2020, they have excavated, and it's only a small team of archaeologists, they yeah. have excavated six acres of settlement, which is just massive. First, let me uh, show you know, where in the world... Um, uh, Pamelta is there. We go. It's about sixty miles uh, south west of Berlin. There, uh, mm -hmm. and yes, the reason why this is uh, so extraordinary is, I think, it's the sheer scale of the archaeology being done. Uh, as it's you just staggering. mentioned, it, it it is staggering, and the rewards of operating at such a, a, a scale are also staggering. And I think this is the sort of top number for, for, for the news. They've discovered uh, no less than 65 uh, Bronze Age uh, longhouses. There's the trench they've been digging, but uh, that is the plan view of the site. Uh, the circle up on the right, of course, is the sort of Henji form circle of uh, uh, Pamelta ring, Pamelta circle itself. But each one of those blue strips on that map there is a longhouse uh, that, they've, uh, uh, that they've come across. Each one of those longhouses being anywhere between uh, 50 and uh, 100 foot long. So hopefully from that you get an idea of the scale. Um, I can't, I can't, I, uh, I can't think of anything quite on the same scale. Not since maybe in terms of you know prehist prehistoric excavations, M maybe Durrington walls back in the the yeah, original Durrington, Durrington walls. Yeah. I mean, it, I, I suppose from the from the the sheer scale of it, you could look at places mm. like Cattle in uh, um, in Anatolia, oh sure yeah but, yeah yeah. Yeah. Uh, but in Europe, no. no. I mean, it's, yeah. it's not to say that they don't exist uh, or didn't exist. It's just this is, you know, this is the biggest one. It is, it's certainly, it's the largest 
early Bronze Age settlement yeah. by far in Central Europe. It's uh, but slight caveat yeah. to that, of course. It is I have have to say sixty five, but not probably uh, standing or inhabited at the same time. Um, they're no, reckoning that uh, that uh, around a, a dozen of those would have been occupied uh, at the same time, and the 65 mm. re represents quite a lot of uh, uh, turning over in uh, a few hundred years of occupation, uh, that actually, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, uh, I don't think yeah. uh, I'm I mean, wrong they, there. These are, these are significant constructions, <clears throat> and... Uh, they estimate that each building would have housed about 30 people, mm. 20 to 30 people, um, yeah. which is, it's a, uh, you know, it's a reasonable estimate. Rupert, we haven't time. mentioned the date here. Uh, Brian has just well, pointed out that we it. haven't mem mentioned the date. Yes, I think I said Bronze Age at some point. Um, but the Early actual dates, age, yeah. as we know, <laughs> ages, three age things dodge about a bit as we move from continent yes. to continent. Um, a bit, so. Well, uh, the, the dating they're giving this is between, oh, help me out here, 2000, 2009, uh, 2000, 2300 and about so 1600. I'm going forward here. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's, you know, it, it's early Bronze Age uh, uh you know, get early into into Bronze Age. So. Yes, and the occupation seems to have been about over about 160 years. There are variations of that. Uh, Matt in the in the chat just uh, made a, a good statement, and we were going to mention it. And 15 or so of their cattle, he says. Yes, uh, because the, it seems that construction allows for that in each one of those long houses, uh, the yeah. uh, habitation by the cattle at the same time. Yeah. So alongside the houses, um, you, if we go into too much detail, it'll be too long uh, a, sh a show. Um, but we yeah. don't. What we don't want to leave behind is if you've never heard of Pamelta itself before. We wanted to speak a little bit of, about that because. Hopefully, you know, to some of you, that's news as well. Mm. But alongside the houses, they have found human burials in the... And, uh, uh, this, we're talking about beaker culture here, by the way, folks. Mm. Um, yeah. Um, so quite a lot of, uh, of pottery in the usual deposits in, in pits and middens and uh, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, not going to get going. It's it's one of those. Uh, never mind the quality, feel the width. I'll just show the side size of the <laughs> size of the freaking ten trench again. <laughs> that yeah. is, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, as, to, uh, as far as archaeological digs are, is concerned, that is uh, awesome. <laughs> Yes, I think. It, it, in fact, it's worth pointing out here. Actually, if you if you just stay on that for a second, Mike. Yeah. Sorry. Um, um, just in case you can see, because this really shows you what they're excavating, and how they're um, they're marking out. You know, on the chart that you the, uh, that you saw earlier, where yeah, each yeah. of the houses is marked out in blue. If you have a look in the uh, bottom right hand corner of the trench, going diagonally upwards, you can see there. There's actually a line of post holes. Yeah, that they've been excavating. So that gives you the sense there of there's a rectangular. Yeah. structure that that's the outline of a house so that's basically now, from a field been, field um, archaeology point of view there's something very important to point out here uh, is that this is a well-farmed area so the mm. top layers of soil have already been stripped away so what mm. might have been the floors and the layers in which you get uh, artifacts in an undisturbed uh, archaeological area They've already long gone, so it is perfectly okay to be using the bulldozers and the and the diggers as they are to strip off the layer, and the per that you, know, you can go take the layer straight off, and then somebody following behind the uh, the, the 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 bulldozer to marks out the post holes. It's the post holes that are uh, the important mm. uh, thing thing here. The surface level um, finds. Well, they were they just won't be there. They've been ploughed. Um, yeah. um, so you're going to find uh, post holes and you're going to find uh, pits and, and burials. And that's what they've been finding. So I thought yeah. that important yeah. to point that out from a, a field uh, yeah, archaeology point of view. Point. And I mean, the, the frustration of knowing that all the things like, you know, fireplaces, phew, gone, ploughed out, 
decades, if not <laughs> centuries ago. Yeah. Yes, great yeah. chain. Uh, but it's they've found all sorts of things throughout the uh, the settlement. Uh, well, the thing is, until uh, when, when when did the when did the wall come down? When did uh, Berlin Wall? Which year was it? Nineteen uh, ninety. Blah blah blah. Anyway, yes. the point then, point is that that, uh, that the site in, in its entirety was completely unknown uh, twenty years ago, uh, and uh, this it was in East Germany at the time, so th there wasn't anything uh, such thing as aerial photography going on, and that's how it was discovered when you know the, the, it it opened up and you know it was discovered um, by. Um, uh, crop marks and and that kind of thing, but excavations have been going on here for fifteen years, and mm. it's time to show why you know stuff has been going on for fifteen uh, years. And I think I've got the right picture if I show you that. If you've mm. never uh, seen that before, I hope your mind's exploding. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think it yeah, took our breath away obviously the first time. So that, sorry, Mike. Come on, sorry. I think it took our breath away the first time we realised this was uh, this was did. there in in, yeah. in yeah. Germany. So that's the ring, and that isn't a that isn't a, a paint that isn't a graphic image. That's an that's the actual they've reconstructed it. Yes, that's an aerial photograph of the site as it is now that you can go and visit. COVID yes. Um, yes, you know so. Um, obviously, this isn't the settlement. This is the Pamelta uh, yeah. circle. Yeah. Um, it Which has to be said that the um, that the timber post with lintels is um, it's an idea. We don't know that. They yeah. These. That, uh, uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, you know. So all that is just uh, conjecture. Ideas that they've had. Yeah. It's uh, it's by no means a given. Yeah, uh, so if we had a longer show, we might have more to say about that. We, yes, we might put on a grumpy hat or two, grouchy <laughs> and, uh, hat yes. or two. <laughs> and maybe, maybe we'll save that for another time. Yeah, yeah here's, a, here's a. In that the, the Berlin Wall coming down was 1989. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, here's an, another it detail. Just be churlish not to stick that in. Yes. Yeah. Um, Do you want to talk about wasps? <laughs> I couldn't resist. Let's look at that. <laughs> I, I, I spotted that um, on one of the posts. Because yeah. the skulls, again, we have no idea what sort of embellishments they may or may not have had. But I yeah. spotted that there was a wasp's nest there. The, the, so the wasps had actually made good use of the post. And I just wanted to point that out because that's probably Polistes dominula. Could be Polistes gallicus, but, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> one of the European paper wasp species. Um, <laughs> always nice to see them. <laughs> you never thought you were going to learn about wasps tonight, did hey. you, folks? Uh, <laughs> however, we just have to reiterate that those uh, uh, carvings and the lintels on the posts uh, and the colouring and all that entire entirely conjecture based on the idea, mm. the pervasive idea, that uh, this is some kind of ritual and ceremonial uh, site, uh, mm. About which you know we will have words to say uh, an, another time, uh, maybe. Uh, but we will. Or, we will yeah. yeah, I tell you what I'm going to do, Rupert. Right, mm. just, just to make the point though, this makes the point really concisely. So, if this is a ritual and ceremonial site, yeah, that's Pamelta, as yeah. it is now. What's this? Da, da, da. Crickets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, it's, it's a very good point. Yeah. That, uh, f folks, is actually not far away from me. Um, uh, that, again, is an aerial photograph of a reconstruction of the Roman gyrus at the fort of Lunt near Coventry. Uh, Roman mm. Roman fort round about 63 AD and that is their enclosure for uh, training horses and weapons training with horses and all that kind of thing to defend themselves from the marauding marauding Brits yeah. uh, there are so many aspects of that we could go into that looks very familiar to some uh, other constructions that uh, yeah but I think we've made the point. Yeah. 
Absolutely. I, you know, it, it's an important distinction to make that the reason they can flesh out so many of the horizontals uh, in a Roman construction is because we know what the Romans did. Yeah. But if you actually took that back to an excavation and say, what are they actually finding to well, if uh, just, show if it was just the there, If it was just the post holes. Yeah. It's just the post holes. We'd have thing. a ritual and ceremonial site, wouldn't we? Yeah. Um, yeah. so, <laughs> all so, right. Uh, yeah, when they talk about <laughs> we, uh, ceremonial ritual, this, that, and the other, don't know. Don't know. But before we leave uh, the site of Pamelta, uh, I've left a link in the description which takes you to uh, an archaeological paper uh, about Pamelta. I think it was written in 2018. So that's got masses of detail. Um, you know, people want it is an archaeological paper, so it's a bit of a uh, a read. But that's from Antiquity Journal. It's in the it's in the description below. But if you mm. thought that uh, Pamelta was alone, think again. Barely fifty miles away to the south is another mm -hmm. place. Look at this. And again, yeah. that's not. Uh, a, a graphic image that's not a computer gra generated image that's another you can go and visit that that's a reconstruction that is yeah. Gossek Ring and believe it or not that is 1500 years older than Pamelta mm. what is going on what was going on do you know what Rupert yeah. I'm reminded of that graphic representation I did of Stanton Drew with that looks almost Absolutely. exactly the same Plumin egg. Yeah. Apart from the fact yeah. that the wood inside at Stanton Drew was, uh, you know, thick timber posts. Anyway. It was bigger. But, uh, but then. Do -do 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 um, oh, no, it's the wrong one. <laughs> the one you left with is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> uh, but, but, you know, the, the, the point is that if the concept is the same and the only thing that's actually different is the horizontals. Yeah. You know how the gaps were filled so you can either fill them by an unbroken row of upright smaller posts or you can fill the gap as the romans did with horizontal yeah. uh, paneled walls you know the the overriding structure is the same yeah 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 well we hope that you know we uh, leave you with uh, food for thought um <laughs> we are uh, I think we're about the at the at the limits. I have to before we go. We do have to warn you that uh, I don't think there'll be another prehistory flash pop up before the new year. Rupert and I are taking a bit of a well earned break. It's been <laughs> it's been quite a it's been a very long time. Since you've had a quite a break. Break. quite a year. Yes, yeah. So really, I think it's time to wrap up and say. As ever, mm. um, thank you all for your attention. I uh, hope you found that uh, y useful and uh, interesting. And I hope, you know, knock, your, knock yourselves out um, hunting down the information around Pamelta and all the other hengiform and hen, because there's loads of them. Yeah. In Central Europe. Yeah, they're really Amazing. Are. They're really yeah. Are. They just call them a different yeah. name, that's all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's it's Have true. a look around. It's true. Have yeah. a look around. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, and uh, and I will just say again, as it's uh, you know getting towards Christmas, I just say if you are new to us, then hit that subscribe button down there, and uh, well said, sir. Uh, and, you know, get get, get alerts <laughs> and stuff when we're doing more. Yeah, um, yeah. Because uh, yeah. YouTube um, is noticing. Yeah. I tell you what, YouTube really is noticing. Uh, the, the, thank you. You know, subscribers for su subscribing uh, that yeah. those you have yeah, because really it's really making a massive dis difference to the channel. So thank you for that. With that, mm -hmm. it's goodbye from me, and it is a goodbye from me. And uh, um, happy festive time, folks. I hope you all stay safe and well. And, happy holidays. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you in the new year. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye.